Oh boy, it's time for more of this. Oh yes. Oh yes. We're crying, except it will not be enough. The name just never sounds any better, no matter how many different ways I try to say it. We're outside now. There's the moon, I guess, behind some clouds, because I can't see the moon, but I can see the lighting. Where are we going? Well, Claire on the radio said that we had to find a cemetery, so that's what we're here to find. However, man, turbo! However, we might want to just go down here for a sec. It's a dead end down at the end of this tunnel, but there might be something you want to find. We have to get out of here fast because there's radiation, but if we go down here, we can get the level, the second level key card. Just want to make sure we pick that up. E it's easy to walk by that. Does that show up in our inventory? Yeah. You just found a level two key card. You just found it. I'm sure no matter how long you have it, it'll continue, continue to say you just found it. All right. Up here is a cemetery and a, an arcade machine at the front of it. Which, that's fun. I mean, maybe it's not... Maybe it's a little bit rude, you know? Not really appropriate to have that there. I think it's kind of fun, though. Let's head up inside. Well, not inside, but... The cemetery's outside, but we're going to go inside the outside. This outside right here. Yeah, get in here. Get in there. You have to know, young man, I never agreed with him on this. To be honest, I respected her. I cared for her. She was a great woman. You know, Mr. Helton, she used to say... Hope belongs to those who don't know the value of life simply because they have the modesty not to value life. You were her hope, Mr. Helton. You? I know you. I remember you. You were working for my parents, Mr. Richard. What do you know about my mother? What do you know about the accident that killed them? I may know. I may not. Maybe your wife knows much more. But you have already wondered that. Am I correct? What the fuck do you want from me? Me? Absolutely nothing. I am not the one asking favors all the time and hiding things from you. Or am I wrong? Beautiful. Beautiful. The cutscenes are magnificent. Honestly, the only reason to keep playing this game. that The cutscenes are just bad in the, in the same way that the gameplay is bizarrely terrible, but you don't have to play the cutscenes, you know? You just watch them. So, maybe if I could just watch the game, I would be having a better time. But I really enjoy these cutscenes. I wish there were more of them. I don't know how you get just everything wrong like that. It's amazing, and I love it. Anyway, here's a grave of apparently uh, Jake's mother. Hope belongs to them who doesn't know the value of life. <laughs> if you want the full quote, Hope belongs to them who simply don't know the value of life simply because they have the dignity, dignity not to price it. Deep Thoughts from Melina Heldon. Let's see who else is buried here. Well, that's unmarked. This one is also for Melina Heldon. However, Melina Heldon seems to be imprinted on Janice Smith. That seems rude to just take Janice Smith's grave. Melina already has a grave. She doesn't need Janice's as well. Oh, I move so weirdly like this. Like, I move so slow. It's a captain. 
a captain gets two graves. I don't know if it's a captain or if his name is, you know, his first name begins with A and his last name is Captain. I don't know what the Roman numerals there mean either. 27? 27 what? Did he die at the age of 27? A captain gets a third grave. That tombstone just looks like a dick. Why would you do that? Don't do that. It's a graveyard is a solemn place. Here's another grave for Molina. And another. Let's get over here to... Uh, there's a note over here on uh, Molina's next grave. Let's pick it up. My dear Richard, you have been on my husband's side for many years, and I know you will never betray him. However... I need to show you my concerns, on one hand, because I know that you appreciate me as I appreciate you. On the other hand, because I want you to be safe when the moment of the impact arrives. Initially, I found a way to get my son out of this place and made sure to transfer him somewhere that his father would not be able to find him. It was my only abeyance before I proceed to what I have to do, to what I must do. I'm going to make public all the evidence. The world needs to know about all the cruelties and the crimes we've done in this place, on this island. I suggest that you leave the island before everything is revealed. It's not worth sacrificing your life next to a beast like my husband. Sincerely, Melania. Well, this is apparently Richard's mother. So she has something to do with the cruelties that are happening on this island. And apparently Richard's father is some sort of beast. I assume not literally, just like, you know... He's done very cruel things. Well, apparently Richard's parents... Richard? No, Jacob's parents have something to do with the events on this island. Not just Claire's parents. Both Claire and Richard's parents... Another A-Captain. Another Tombstone Dick. Uh, apparently both of their parents had a lot to do with the cruelties. Melina, another one. Oh, what's this? Melina's next grave has a coin. Pick that up. Two coins. Well, I mean, you're, of course, you're going to need to be buried with coins if you want your spirit to be able to play Cubica. Oh, over here is an important fenced-in grave, also for Melina. There we go. Something needed to be placed here. Yeah, there's a hole. But I don't have an item that looks like it could go there. So I don't think there's anything I can do with that right now. But it appears to be an important mausoleum, so I'm sure we'll come back. Do you think it would be feasible to have an arcade machine as your tombstone? Like, instead of a tombstone, there's an arcade machine on your grave. And, like, the, the machine has the information, has your information, your name, you know, birth year, death year. And it's a fully functional machine. It's just playing all the time. Like, someone could go up to your grave and play the game. Like, that's why it's there. But it would, like, be expensive to have someone actually maintain it, right? Like, someone would have to protect it from the elements, make sure it's still powered on, you know, replace the joysticks on the buttons when needed. You'd probably have to set up a trust, so it would cost a lot of money. By the way, check this out. Yeah! Like that. Jake is... Oh, you can see the shotgun pointing out. Get that, get that out of there. Jake is the master of disguise. He should be the villain of this game. You'd be walking down this path, then suddenly... That's just the sound effect that happens when, when Jake appears. You have to run away from him, and that's like the start... That's the sound that startles you, that you hear it. It's the sound that you know means that you're in trouble, because Jacob has just emerged... I don't think there's anything, like, in this fountain. There's a beepy head up there. I'm gonna shoot him in his beeping head. I wonder why whoever made beepy head decided to put a bomb on his head. Like, you'd, th you'd think there must be some kind of practical reason for it, but I can't really think of what it is. All right. 
and our path ends at this gate and look behind it what a mansion hope we get to go in there the gate is locked oh no the gate is locked the gate is locked it's locked it's locked we can't get through the gate is locked it seems that some sort of a key enters the lock a key the gate is locked. what kind of thing is this you need some sort of key to go inside. I just like the wording of that. You need some sort... It looks like some sort of key? In the lock? What? Well, it's very complex. Obviously too complicated for us. We're gonna go back. I don't have some sort of key that would go in that kind of lock. So far, the only kind of keys we've gotten have been key cards. And pass codes, which is like a key but information. It's like not a physical key. The key, it's a key that exists in your mind. And you don't, you don't know what it is. You don't see it coming until... And then Jacob comes out in your brain. You could just come out from anywhere. And he stares at you with his constantly shifting eyes. Demanding to know what is going on. I like how Jake referred to that guy as Mr. Richard. But when we read the note, it was indicated that the first name is Richard, which indicates that Jacob knew the guy back when Jacob was a little kid. So he referred to him as Mr. Richard. That's, I'm not making fun of anything. I just think that's kind of cute. We're going back because we got that key card. Remember, we got the level two key card and we have found a door that required a level two key card. So we're going there now while Ben Franklin tells us that if you're over 25, you might as well be dead. You're dead. You just don't know it yet. They'll bury you when you're 75, but you might as well just get it over with, says Benny Franklin. Well, Benjamin Franklin think he thinks he knows about death. He has not played Crying is Not Enough. So, I mean, that... You know, people talk... If you're in America... Hold on. Am I sliding down the stairs? Uh, sure. Okay, I didn't know this was going to happen, but we're just going to wait until we got all, get all the way down. That's what we're doing. Change of plans. We're sliding down the stairs. There, Yeah, do it. You know, if you're... If you're... If you get raised in America. People always talk about how brilliant and genius the Founding Fathers were. Did the Founding Fathers ever play Crying is Not Enough? No. How could they have then the ex the expertise and experience needed to write a, a lasting document needed for the governance of a nation if they don't have this kind of experience? Have they played a single video game? The answer is no. Have you ever thought about that maybe we should look into a system of government that is created by gamers for gamers? Because clearly, none of the government governments in the world today are such. <laughs> it's actually a really slow escalator. Extremely slow. I'm glad that we waited for that. That's still hanging. That is not going away. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we needed to go through here. And then there was... Let me grab that. There was a door that we needed a level 2 key card to go inside. It was this one. It's kind of a weird thing. It has a keypad, right? So the other key card doors we've seen, we've needed a code. We don't have a code for this one. So what do we do? Nothing, I guess. We didn't need a code for this. That's That seems incon oddly inconsistent. But then, considering how everything in Crying Enough is Not Enough is inconsistent, maybe it's actually the most consistent. Anyway, we're in some kind of control room. Yes! A heavy sound. That sound. That is a heavy sound. 
I'm just going to look through that if we can. It's just like there's a wall on the other side. It doesn't look like there's anything there. A heavy sound. Oh, if, you, if you say so. Here's a note. Dear General, I would like to inform you that in the last few days there are words about your behavior that won't please you. You promised me that if I report every detail that might concern you, you will treat me in a better way than the others that dare to speak of you. Therefore, I have to tell you, burnt part. Well, that's not what that note says, is it? It says something like, dear colleagues, something needing, um, hoping that it would fall in, not fall into General's hands before you might, before you read it, as we both something is extremely uh openly discuss delicate matters ml it's the graphic is not what the note says and that's like the case with all of these like M a melina's letter that's like a book that's just like a printed book that's not a letter the prisoner's letter what does that say it says meet me at the elevator doesn't say all this i can't read what that says but like, that, again, that's another thing that the game gets wrong. That the graphics of the note see something completely different than what the actual text says. It's just like, if a game had any one or few of these inconsistencies, I wouldn't really think much of it. But the fact that this game has so many of them in every department, in every way, <laughs> that's the sound of a door not opening. Just every possible thing the game could do, it does wrong. I don't know how you do that. For instance, okay, this is like a neat little control panel, right? Like, computers all around here. Uh, how do you access that one? Who's gonna sit down at, at that computer right there? I don't think anyone's sitting down at that. Someone's sitting down at this one, but it's, it's not even like... It's like at a pointed edge, so you have access to two. Is that good? I don't know. But no one's sitting down at this one right here. No, sir. Oh, what's that? Is that... Is that an item? Hold on, there's like a, a valve... ...on the floor. Should I pick that up? My... ...experience playing Resident Evil says absolutely you need to pick that up right now. But I... I'm not picking it up, so... I'm gonna assume I don't do anything with that. My brain is screaming at me, telling me to go back and pick that up. But I, I, I'm on to you crying is not enough. I don't think that's actually going to do anything. Hey, everyone. There's like a party going on here. Oh, hold on, hold on. You're clipping through that. I'm. Can you hit me through that? Because I'm going to guess you probably can. I'm not going to risk it. You probably could just hit me right through that floor. What's going on? Heads are popping. Up oh, syringe. Better get that. Got the half-full syringe. Yeah, my life is not full. And my health meter in the game isn't either, so I should probably keep that in mind. Hold on. That was glowing. It is, yes. Squeak, squeak. Heard something happen. But what? What do you suppose happened? Anything else to look at? Any items? Maybe not. But we can see, like, the, uh, the empty void of the unknown. We could, like... We could fall down into the, the empty gray void if we wanted to do that. Wow, it's a nice sky out tonight. I can see like every, like the entire facility from here. What a great view. Back we go. You can fall down there. You can't get back up. Alright, so I turned the squeaky valve 
And I think we did what we need to do in this room. I think we've got it done. Now, I still don't have the code for this door. Because the, the two codes I have don't work with that one. So I don't have what I need for that. Then there's also the, um, the medical room, which I did open up. There's, like, nothing in there. I don't... I don't understand that. Is there... Will there be something there later? I don't know. Get that dirty syringe. I'm pretty sure I've gotten it before, but I don't know. Did I die or have to reload after getting it? I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so nothing's changed here. I still need to, to cut the power. Oh, yeah, nothing behind that door. It's just a wall. You can see it. You can see there's just a wall. This was another way I couldn't go. Okay, yes, water is drained from here. That's what the, that's what the valve did. The water has been drained. Let us explore. Yep, oh, something actually here. You never know if there's it's just gonna be empty, because most areas in this game are just empty. Mm-hmm. Another uh Project Slavery logo. Oh, hold on. Is this a real door? Mm, nothing no, here. Mm, probably not. Alright, that is open. Anything over here? No, I guess that's not a real door. Get that vial. And here's a fuse box. Now, earlier on, we did pick up the working fuse. There we go. Fuse. Working fuse is now in fuse box. The power has been restored. Didn't we want to cut the power? You remember that, right? I mean, we just saw it. Oh, music's not playing. I thought someone was going to come out to get me. Oh, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, we just, at that hallway, you know? We were just at that hallway where it said that we need to cut the power. Well, we went to the fuse box and we turned it on. Because if, if the fuse box does not have a working fuse, the power can't go through it. Like, that's the entire point of a fuse. It's so there can be, like, a point in the circuit that can be cut, you know? If, like, there's a power surge or such. It's like a failsafe. So you need to put the working fuse back in to restore the power, not to cut it. But let's ignore that. All right, so there is a key card door right there. Let's look around first. Wolf plate. Look at this thing. It's a stone sign... A stone sign that it you are supposed to fit somewhere. I'm going to read that again. A stone sign that it you are supposed to fit somewhere. Well, one place it doesn't fit is my inventory. It's like bigger than the the squares that are holding these items. It's like too big. That's again just a really weird thing. Like it's easier to it's easier to not get that wrong. All right, so here's another key card door. There must be another way around. We are not even acknowledging it. So, I assume that does mean that uh, we shouldn't even try to go through that door. Oh, yeah, that's right. The stairs are over here. Well, we have the wolf sign 
so I mean that does mean that we should now be able oh no hold on where am I going cemeteries this way wouldn't want to go up that elevator because of the massive loading times involved of coming back coming back down it so we have the wolf sign and that does mean we can now go back to the cemetery put it into that door and see what happens we haven't seen that many puzzles in the game really there was the radio puzzle that's kind of been it so I guess this counts as the second puzzle So let's see, we, we came out here, then we got the key card so we could go back in and then open a door, turn a valve to, so we could lower the water. Uh, then we could go into the hallway with the lowered water, use the fuse to turn the power on, which turns the, actually turns the power off. Um, and then we're able to cross that hallway that we weren't able to cross before to get the wolf sign so we can now backtrack to here is basically the progression of, of today's video. All right, we got a puzzle. So, what was this? It's grass, it's bird, it's chicken, I think. Sheep, wolf, fox. I think that's a fox. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, each plate has a dot, except grass. You can turn each of the plates. So, what would you say this is? Well, I'm going to turn... Let's see. If I'm going to turn sheep to point at grass. Oh, there's a button in the middle. I should press it when I feel that... When I feel confident that uh, I have solved. I don't know if I've solved, though. Let's see. Um... I, I think that is like a chicken or a rooster, right? So, what I'm guessing, because I haven't actually done this puzzle, um, is that this is talking about sort of what animal would eat which animal, which is why the grass does not have a dot, right? So, this one would have to eat grass, I would assume. What, is it going to eat any of these other animals? You wouldn't think so. Um... And sheep would definitely be eating grass. Okay, so that looks... This one... Is that a, like a hawk, right? It's gotta be. Okay, so hawk. Hawk, I wouldn't think would eat a sheep. It's not gonna eat a wolf. Would a hawk prey on a rooster? That doesn't... Would, you wouldn't think so. Fox? Fox seems a little big. I don't suppose it's impossible, but... I'll just point it at that. Wolf, well, there is like the, you know, the thing about a wolf hunting sheep, wolf in sheep's clothing, and all that. So I'll point the wolf at the sheep. I'm assuming this is a fox. I think that's what that is. What would the fox go after? Uh, oh, fox in a hen house, right? So you have wolf in sheep's clothing, you have fox in a hen house. Um... And hawk. Is there a say a pithy saying that we could apply to a hawk and any of these other animals? I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm pretty sure about the fox and hens and the wolf and the sheep. Um and the hen the hen would have to be looking at grass, right? And the sheep would also have to be looking at grass. I would think so. It appears I was wrong, and I got torched. Fortunately, I do have medical supplies, and by medical supplies, I mean syringes filled with an unknown fluid, one of them being a dirty syringe I pulled out of a corpse. I'm going to use that. There we go. I'm not going to use the dirty syringe. I'm going to use, you know, a, a clean one. I sterilized it earlier, probably. And I think that right now I'm just going to save this right here. Yeah, why don't we play some Cubica while we're here? And, you know, I don't feel like losing a whole lot of health. I'm So I'm just going to, like, you know, try to figure out what that puzzle is. Then I'm going to reload. 
and, you know, go through that door. I'll take the hit of of messing up once. But uh, I don't think... I don't have a whole lot of healing supplies, so I really wouldn't be able to take too many hits. So I think I've mentioned before, you get ammo for every time you get enough points to get a reward. So it's, a, it's beneficial to us to play Cubica. Oh, that didn't count? All right. It's beneficial to us to play Cubica you know, whenever we save. I haven't really been doing that, but ammo hasn't been that much of a problem so far. I have played some Cubica, just to keep myself in enough bullets and shotgun shells. Now, Cubica, you can just play it for as long as you want. And, of course, all of us would just want to keep playing it indefinitely, obviously. Uh, but the game does the game developers know that oh well the game developers know that you would just play it forever so they you stop getting rewards after um a hundred points I believe it is anyway we're continuing to play Cub cubica and we're continuing to play crying is not enough as I don't know plot happens maybe we met Richard who was very coy and mysterious. We found an... Oh, we, that's right. We did find a note stating that uh, Jacob's parents were involved in the cruelties on the island. So that was some kind of plot that happened. Next time, we're going to figure out this puzzle. We're going to go through that door. And... Uh, uh, I don't know. 